Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kari and today we're going to be ranking 2023 book covers because there have been some really beautiful and cool book covers in 2023, but also some what were they thinking moments. Before we get started, I am really curious to know what are your favorite and least favorite book covers from 2023? I think it's really interesting to see what book covers people gravitate to and which ones they really don't like. I just think that's fascinating because everybody's tastes are so different when it comes to book covers. So definitely let me know in the comments I would love to hear from you. So let's jump into it. I've got 32 book covers to rank with you today. Some books that I've read, some books that I haven't, some books that I'm interested in but haven't read yet. A good mix of everything. So as you can see, I've got a good selection of covers down at the bottom and I think I'm just going to pull from them at random. So let's start with one of my favorite books that I've read so far this year, Rouge. Now, if you watched my Rouge vlog, you will remember when I had the mind-blowing moment when I realized that this is in fact not just a rose, it's an upside down jellyfish. But do I think that this cover is beautiful? Um, actually, I saw some of the UK early advanced copies and it was just, see how it says Rouge at the top, like that font? The UK art copies just had that, but vertically down the entire book, like the whole book just said Rouge vertically. And I thought that that looked so nice. I wish that that's what they would have done for the whole book so i i loved this book i gave it five stars but do i like the cover not really i'm going to put it in c i just feel like they could have done more like it's just too plain even though my mind was blown when i realized that it was a jellyfish and not just a flower okay next um my last innocent year now this is a book that i haven't read yet but i do want to read it do i remember what it's about absolutely not i just remember that it sounded interesting to me However, I really like this cover. Normally, I hate book covers with faces on them, but something about this one, I don't know. And if you look at it closer, it's like kind of artistic-y, like art to painting kind of. Um, and that makes me like it more. I don't know. I just really like this one. I think I'm going to put this one in A, which is shocking because normally I hate book covers with faces on it. All right, next, the Sofia Coppola Archive. I really want this book, but... I forget how much it costs, but it's really expensive, but it's a beautiful book. As you can see, the cover is super plain, but this pink, I just want it. And you know, like it's a bigger book. I don't think it's as, as big as a, like a traditional coffee table book, but it is a bigger book. And I would just really like to have it just because I like the cover so much. So I think even though it's really plain, I do really like it, but should it go in A or B? I mean, it's not like it's super creative, but that pink, it just, it just speaks to me. Oh, I think I'll put it in A for now, but I might come back to that later. All right, next, Penance by Eliza Clark. I really want to read this book. I've heard really good things about it. I just haven't picked it up yet, but this cover is a scandal. This cover is disgusting. I hate this cover so much. It's probably why I've delayed buying it to read it because this cover, it's just, why would they do that? They did Eliza Clark dirty. Um, this is definitely, no. Absolutely not. If the, if I wrote this book and this is the cover they gave me, I would be pissed. <laughs> All right, next. The Rachel Incident. This is probably the book that I want to read the most that I haven't bought yet. Um, for some reason, it's been really difficult to find here in France. I don't know why. So I'm going to have to order it from abroad. I just haven't done it yet because I want the American edition. So I can't order the American edition from Blackwell's. So it's just a disaster. But basically, I really want to read this book. Um, again, we kind of, we have, I mean, a head, it's not really a full face, like my last innocent year, which is her hair. I like the different colors of the font on it, but it, I don't love it. Ugh. I'm hesitating between B and C. I think I gotta go C because I don't like it more than I like Rouge. Next, How Can I Help You by Laura Sims. Another book I really want to read. Actually, the publisher sent me a finished copy, which I'm so thankful for, and I can't wait to read this book. And it's also, it's blurbed by Mona Awad, so that makes me want to read it even more. So I really want to read this. This cover is amazing. I love this cover. I think it's so cool. So I think I have to put this in S, actually. I really like that cover. I think it's really creative. Next. Let's do The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I actually, I'm gonna read this really soon. It's being delivered tomorrow. I can't wait to read it because I've actually heard good things about this as opposed to the last Riley Sager. Let's see. I mean, I like the purple on the black. I don't love red on a book cover, so that's kind of eh. Um, you know what? 
I think I'm gonna put it C and I'm gonna move Rouge up. Yeah, that seems right. Because I do like Rouge more than these two. But the thing is, I don't not like these. It's just that they're kind of boring, the Rachel incident and the only one left. I mean, there's nothing exciting about them. It's not that I don't like them. Like I actively don't like Penance's cover. Yeah, I, I just think that they're too plain. So like C is gonna be like too plain, I guess. All right, next. Half-Life of a Stolen Sister. Fan fiction about the Brontes. So I love that, obviously, there's a picture of the Brontes on it, but then there's like this like stitching over top of it, which I find really creative. And I really like that. And that's what caught my eye about this book. I haven't read it yet. I would be interested in reading it because I do love the Brontes. I think I'm gonna have to go here because even though it is just a picture that exists in the world, I just like what they've done with the stitching over top of it. Next, oh, the happy couple. Hold on, I need to scroll back up here the happy couple um this was the second book from nisha dolan who i loved exciting times from but unfortunately i didn't really like this book i just read it i don't know a month or two ago and i didn't enjoy it unfortunately and this cover what is this cover honestly this cover has nothing to do with the story either not really um, I really don't like it. I mean, the American cover is okay and it has more to do with the story, but this is the cover that I got and it's a D. I do not like this cover. The colors are fine, but like, what? What is this cover? The Exciting Times cover is so much better. All right, next, let's do The Christmas Guest. Again, another book that I want this American edition of, but I can't find it here in France. Can't get it from Blackwells or anything because it wouldn't be the American edition, but I mean, look at this cover. It's so beautiful and so festive. I love it. Uh, I mean, really, this has to be up here. It's beautiful. That's that's a nice cover. Next, let's do Pod. Okay, hold on. All right, Pod. Now, this was a super divisive book. I read this for the Women's Prize for Fiction. It was fine. It was okay. But this cover, these colors, oh my God. I love this cover so much. I mean, again, it has to go up here. It's beautiful. I love the cover. I mean, it's really the colors and like the circle thing. Like, come on. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, let's do this one. Hold on. I really don't like I have to keep scrolling back up. Okay. This one. I haven't read this one. I talked about it in an anticipated reads video. I don't remember what it's about at all, but I was interested in it. I don't remember what I said it was about, but this cover is something <laughs> it's something yeah um do i like it no it's weird it's really really weird i do like the font of the title and the color of the title but the <laughs> the woman and the bird it's giving the pisces by melissa broder um yeah no i mean it's no no <laughs> it's not even like a cool weird it's just weird Okay, all right, next, Big Swiss by Jen Began. I read this at, towards the beginning of the year and I loved this book. It was so good. And what drew me to this book originally was the cover because I freaking love this cover. It's so like attention grabbing. I don't know. And like the font on it, the colors, like they just all go together so well. I love this cover. It's great. And the other cover with just the dogs on it, that's cute too. But I mean, this one, I, I love this cover so much. And I love the book. One of my favorite books that I read so far this year. Next, let's do this one. We need like a little shelf to put like the books that we're discussing like on a shelf over here. Um, okay, so the nursery. This was a, a nice little short story and it, it gives the yellow wallpaper vibes and I love the yellow wallpaper. So I really enjoyed this one. This cover, it, this was a cover by. I, when I saw the cover of this book, I was like, I have to have that book. I didn't really know what the book was about. I just saw the cover and I was like, yes. <laughs> I love this cover and I'm not even like one of those like huge like hands on cover people like I know there's a few booktubers who like whenever there's a hands on a book cover they're like I gotta read that book that's not really me I'm not I don't have like a thing for hands on book covers but this one and like the colors oh my god yes yes um next let's do the last word I loved this book this pulled me out of a reading slump earlier this year but do I love the cover? No, I don't. It's very boring. I mean, it has to go here, right? These books with just like the, the title on the front and nothing really else going on. I mean, God, it's so boring. It's so boring. They could have done so much more. It could have been so much more interesting. Yeah, not a, not a fan of the cover. Love the book though. 
Let's do this one next. The Guest by Emma Klein. I have this book, I just haven't read it yet, so I am interested in reading it. The cover, it's plain, but I like it. And the colors, I think it's the colors that are what are getting me. The turquoise of the water, the blue of the water, and then the pink of the title. That's gotta go here. I like that. Next, The Writing Retreat. I did not read The Writing Retreat. I was waiting to hear back like reviews on it and then the reviews were very mixed. People were like, if you like uh, extravagant thrillers where it's just totally unbelievable, then you'll like this book. And sometimes I like that, but sometimes I don't. And then, I don't know. I just never went back to it. So I haven't decided if I'm going to read it yet or not. But this cover, it's nice. I mean, it is mostly just the font, but I think it's interesting. The background's interesting and like that the little bottom corner is like a page turning because it's about authors writing a book. I mean, it's nice. And I'm not usually like a lime green girly, but I think it's okay. I think I am going to put it next to, to Rouge. It's okay. Next, let's do Mothered by Zoji Stage. This was one of my most anticipated books of this year. And then when it came out, I read it right away. And boy, did I not like this book. <laughs> I did not like it. But this cover, it's very basic, very plain. It's just the scissors but like those like strange like medical scissors kind of. I don't know what it is about this cover, but I really like this cover. I really do. But it should it be up here or in A? Oh, I don't know. I really like it, but do I like it as much as Big Swiss in the nursery? Uh, I'm gonna put it in A for now, but that could change. I really, I, it's so basic, but in plain, but I really like it, I, I don't know why. We'll leave it there for now. Let's do a little something a little bit different. The Master and the Margarita. Obviously, this wasn't published in 2023, The Master and the Margarita, but this Clothbound was published in 2023. And I think this is a nice Clothbound classic. And we don't have much red, so I was happy to have some red for my Clothbound classics. You know what? I'm going to put... Actually, I am going to put this in B. It's fine. I, I enjoyed the red. Next, let's do House of the Dragon art book or whatever this is. I don't know what it is, but it's too expensive. I don't know. They're selling it for like 60 bucks or something. And I would love to have this book, but I'm not paying 60 bucks for it. Um, I loved House of the Dragon and actually the first trailer for season two just dropped and it looks fucking sick. I am so ready for Westeros to be on everyone else's minds as well as mine because Westeros is always on my mind, but it's gonna be on everybody else's minds again and I'm really looking forward to it. But anyway, the cover of this book, this is a great shot. I mean, Rhaenyra in front of Cyrax like this. I mean, that's a great shot. They used it for all the ads for a reason. Um, I think I'm going to put it here. I mean, that's like the shot of House of the Dragon. God, I loved House of the Dragon. It was so good. I can't wait for season two. All right, next, let's do A House with Good Bones. I just recently finished this and oh, I thought I would like this. I thought it was going to give What Moves the Dead vibes. It most certainly did not. However, this cover, it's fine. I mean, it seems kind of juvenile. It seems kind of juvenile with like the shadow of the vulture and like, I don't know, the colors just aren't working for me. The green with the brown with the yellow. Yeah, I don't like this. It's gonna go down here. All right, next, The Kind Worth Saving. So the sequel to The Kind Worth Killing. I haven't read it yet. I have it, I really want to read it, but I want to reread The Kind Worth Killing before I read this, so I just haven't done that. Again, these thriller covers, they really just plaster the title on and they really put no effort into the background, do they? I mean, they're giving nothing. I mean, look at the last word in The Kind Worth Saving. I mean, is this the same book? Is this the same book? I mean, really? Can we be more creative? Come on. It's so boring. Come on. Let's do The Drift by CJ Tudor. I read this at the beginning of the year. It's a really wintry, cold thriller, and it was just perfect for the beginning of the year. I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really fun. Do I like the cover? <sighs> Again, with the red. I don't love red covers, red on covers. I mean, it's... I mean, it's giving more than these thrillers. I mean, at least there's a little bit of, I have a passion for graphic design, but uh, do I like the graphic design that they did? I mean, so if I put it here, do I like it as much as I like the writing retreat? No, I like the writing retreat cover more than this. 
I, I have to put it here. Because even though they put more effort into it than the kind word saving, the last word, the only one left, na na na, I don't like what they did. <laughs> so, I mean, it has to go there. All right, next, Bad Cree, another red cover. However, I really like this cover. I haven't read this book. I was interested in it, but then I heard a lot of people saying that it really just focuses on dreams and I hate reading about dreams. So I'm not going to read this one, but I really like the cover. I really like the cover. I mean, it has to go here. I really like the cover. I think it's really cool. Like, I think it's really cool that Bad Cree is like not even centered, you know, in the middle of the book. I don't know. I really, I really like that. Next, Just the Nicest Couple. Again, another thriller that I thought I was going to be interested in reading this year, but then didn't hear really anything about this book. I was waiting to hear if it was good or bad, and then I heard nothing, which is not a good sign. So, um, even though I have a good history with Mary Kubica, I'm didn't hear anything about this one. This cover is so boring. I mean, so boring. I mean, even the font is fading into the background. It doesn't even stand out like the kind word saving or the last word or the only one left. It's like literally fading into the background. I I really don't like that cover. What? <laughs> what did it? Okay, I, I can't. That, I don't like that cover. <laughs> Next, let's do The Whispers by Ashley O'Drain. Oh man, I had such high hopes for this book because I loved The Push by Ashley O'Drain and I, I did not like this book at all. And what is this cover? The cover for The Push was incredible and then she comes back with this cover. What is this? I mean, it's leaves, but I mean, more like vaguely. Like, what is this? What kind of idea was this? It's... And the colors together, the colors just do not go together. Oh man, so should it go here or should it go here? I do I hate it as much as just the nicest couple? No, okay, I guess it has to go here. Yeah, I, I don't like just the nicest couple more than that. All right, let's do excavations. Again, this wasn't an anticipated release video. Do I remember what it's about? No. But I do remember this cover and thinking how cool this cover was. Love the pink. I wish the title was not in red, but whatever. It would have been better in white, I think. But the the cover, I mean, it's really, really cool. I like this cover a lot. I think, hmm, I think I have to put it here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it has to go there. Next. Oh my god, look at these two. <laughs> The Chateau and the Protégé. I mean, is this the same book in a different color? Oh boy. Okay, let's do the Protégé. I own this book. I really am looking forward to reading this book. I just haven't yet. It's an uh, academic setting thriller, which I love. Okay, so it's really foggy. I like that the title is kind of fading in behind the clouds. I mean, that's nice. That's a nice touch. It's not just like plastered on top like all these other thrillers. So I think I think it has to go here because I like the effort that they put in with the title. Okay, now well, let's do it's twin sister, the chateau. Um hmm. I like the pink. That was a choice and it was a good choice. Now, did they do something fun with the clouds like the protege did? No. But I like the pink. But it's really boring. Okay, it's boring. It's going to go here. Too boring. Even though pink, good job. Next how to love your daughter by Gila Bloom. Um, again, I don't love faces on covers. I mean, even though we have a big twist in my last innocent year and big twist is one of my favorite book covers uh, ever, but it's just, it's more than that. You know what I mean? This one, I mean, when I, like I said for my last innocent year, I said that it was like kind of like a painting and that made me like it. And this one is also kind of like a painting, but oh, I mean, here, look at these two so similar and like the font is across the face i don't know i just for this one i like how her head's turned and like her hair is coming in front of her face i don't know it seems i don't know there's just something about about it that i like more this one i uh, it's an, there's nothing special about it let's say that okay let's put it in b i like it but there's nothing special next second to last how to care for a human girl. I like the idea that they were going for. It's like um like an old painting behind with like a little cherub or something behind, I think. The version that I'm looking at is very small. I'm gonna have to have it bigger for you, but I'm pretty sure that it's like an old painting behind it and then they kind of like spray paint it on top of it. I think they should have brainstormed on this one a little bit longer because I like the idea of using an old painting, but like, why did they spray paint over it? I feel like they could have brainstormed on this for another five to seven days and could have gotten something better than this. I just, it could be better than this. They were going in the right direction, but they, it could have been better. 
So let's, honestly, I'm gonna put it here. Because they really ruined it. Like, why did they put the spray paint in the middle of it? I, I don't understand. Okay, last but not least, A Haunting on the Hill. So it's a retelling of The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. I love me some Shirley Jackson. I cannot wait to read this book. This cover is very cool. It's very cool. It's got the house at the top and then it kind of fades into like smoke at the bottom or something water i'm not sure i can't tell on this little version but it's very cool it's very cool i i think i'm gonna put it here okay so what do we have we have five in s nine in a five in b nine in c and four in d whoa it's like oh my god it's like totally almost symmetrical that's crazy we just have one more in s than we do in d but we have the same in a and the same in c and then five and b wow well i mean technically since we have one more at the top half than we do at the bottom half i guess we have to say that it was a good year for book covers in 2023 i mean i don't i'm just reporting the data okay uh don't shoot the messenger i'm actually kind of surprised by these results because i mean while i did have like big swiss and how can i help you in my mind as some of my favorite book covers this year i didn't really think that there were so many that i enjoyed so much but there really are so i guess we can say that 2023 was a good year for book covers so like i said before definitely let me know what some of your favorite and least favorite book covers were from 2023 i would love to know and if you like this video please give it a like it's a really easy way to support me and my channel and if you haven't subscribed already subscribe i would love to have you back and i'll talk to you again next time bye